So today guys we check out another new legendary to the game, it's called the Rebound. It's a COV assault rifle and well, this thing's actually amazing. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed your stay here and would like to show your support, hit that like button, truly helps out. And subscribe if you like what you see and when you want to see more. And before we go any further guys, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, linked within that video description. So COV in my opinion people at the moment are killing it. To me it seems like over the past two DLCs and events, their weapons have definitely gone up the epicness scales. Back in the day, upon early release, I don't remember a go to COV weapon at all, but now it's definitely a different story. I might be mistaken, but I do believe it started around that time of the yellow cake, which for me is still one of the best weapons in this game. And that for me was when I started taking interest in COV weapons and dedicated a little more of my time to them. So today we check out one of their latest additions. It's called the Reband and it's a really unique weapon. Measure twice, cut twice. Well, that basically sums this weapon up. So this COV weapon, I've only seen drop with incendiary and no element, but it could offer other elements too. But as we know with COV ARs, they always seem to be incendiary weapons for some reason. Now with this thing, I only saw it drop within my playthrough from the Psycho Reaver, who is the last boss of this DLC 4. But I can't confirm as of right now, it's exclusive to him as it is really early days. But if any of you guys have had this drop throughout the world of Krieg's mind, and not just Psycho Reaver, let us know down below in that comments section. Now looking at this thing's stat card, its damage output is quite high considering its fire rate too, and it equals to a decent DPS from this weapon. I think I've seen at highest around 14 to 15k damage stat value mark with a 2x variant. This thing also comes with a 1x variant too, with a bigger shots to break value at the same time. And these variants I have seen around that 15k mark also. So considering, that's pretty decent for sure. So looking at this thing in action, what it does is basically fire like jagged edged discs which by the way ricochet and over penetrate targets up to about 5 or 6 times. Which is crazy people and using this in places like the slaughter shaft or the system of slaughter, you can truly see its effect. And yeah people, they can hurt you also, I found out the hard way. Using this with my Digiclone within the system of slaughter, it was just crazy to see. This flying everywhere, hitting everything. And to be honest guys, it isn't too bad against bosses either. Now considering on this build I used to record this on PC, there isn't anything here applied to help ARs, uh, incendiary or CLV weapons, but it's still holding its own for sure. So yeah, actually a very very good weapon, and I can see some great things being built with this. Now there is an epic version that is called the Saw Penny. This is rewarded for completing the campaign mission, Siege of Castle Crimson, and it's basically the exact same as this rebound, without as many ricochets and literally a few steps down within its item card stat values. But it's still a very decent weapon for sure people. But yeah guys, this has been the rebound, a great new addition to the game, and a very good CLV AR. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more BR3, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.